Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night NXT Halloween Havoc review. Um, Halloween Havoc, they try to do something, you know, spin the wheel, make the deal, even though uh, one match, like, some of the matches weren't even spin the wheel. I would have rather the match, all the matches been like spin the wheel, like Raw Roulette and stuff like that. One match was picked by Chucky, and Chucky was the special guest host or whatever. I don't know. I missed like the first 30 minutes to almost an hour of NXT because I was like on my way home, you know, doing stuff. Um, from what I seen, the the show wasn't actually too bad. I'm, I'm gonna go on to say the show wasn't too bad, you know. So I I would give it that. With NXT, it's not too bad. They're trying. They're, they're actually trying to do some entertaining shit. So, it's just not just that. It's also that they're, you know, they're trying to introduce characters. You know, making people who people give a fuck about you need care. So, that's that's why that's what I give a shit about. I like that. It's supposed to be developmental and you actually kind of care. So, it is what it is. Grab your Coca-Cola. Drink your magnesium right there. Oh shit, oh shit, cheers. Give it a check. The fucker big black cashmere go. Oh shit, oh shit, it's good stuff. Um, you know? So, yeah, let's talk about NXT a little bit. It's not good. I don't, I don't know. So I think the show started with the stairway to hell. That's what they think they call it. The stairway. Or, or no, I'm sorry. It's a stairway. Stairway to hell. That's so st stupid sounding. <clears throat> so Gigi Dolan. And JC Jane won the Scary to Hell ladder match to become the new women's tag team champions. Uh, so they took, I think they won, so they won the titles from like what, Io Shirai and uh, that, this, that jazz bitch, what's her, it's like, what's, I don't know, the Zoe Starks, that bitch who looks like the jazz, but like, I don't know, biracial, but she's like just as uh, ugly as her. Uh, and fucking. Indy Hartwell and her tag team partner, I think that's what it is. I, I didn't give a fuck about the match. Well, I wasn't home to watch it, but I wouldn't really give a shit about a ladder match with the women. Because, you know, who really cares? People want to see hotness instead. Well, you know, at least the hot chicks won. Except, actually, I'm not a fan of the Gigi Dolan bitch. Because she sucked on a tampon. So I'm not liking that. But JC Jane, not bad looking. So, at least, like, when you have a character that's, like, they're all about trying to be hot... That's what I like, so I think that's cool that they they won. Then Joe, oh yeah, fucking the show started with Chucky, to like doing the intro, and I don't know. It just really just to promote the new show coming up, so it's like whatever. Joe Gacy defeats Malik Blade. Who the fuck is Malik? I don't give a fuck. Then fucking the, the, the guy, what's his name? Basically, the part, the the guy who people say he's going to be the next Lesnar. I don't know what's his name. Something like ha Harlan. Is this like a name Harlan? The, the guy who's now, he literally looks like Schnitzky now. And he, like, people say, oh, he's like Michael Myers and shit. Like, he was, like, choking the guy, but then joking. He's like, don't do this, don't do this. We go about all about safe space. I don't know. It's whatever. Um, I don't know. Apparently something about like there was supposed to be a host um, in there was supposed to be a host in fucking NXT Like uh, I don't know was it like was it Eli Drake supposed to be the host But then apparently he was not the host tonight. I don't fucking know or don't care It is what it is Roger Strong has an open challenge to the nation really more open challenges. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, even NXT for God's sakes he defeats Audison Jones with the help of the Diamond Mind Group. Like, he defeated the, the fucking... So this is like a 205 Live Champion, right? And he, loot, and he defeated the fucking guy who's like bigger than... I don't fucking know. Whatever. Holy shit, this guy does look like a fucking Usos. Look, um... So it's... Uh, Solo Sakaya. Uh, he makes his debut. He basically... So he's one of the brothers of the Usos. He really does look like them. Holy fuck. He really does. Um, and he takes out Grayson Waller. Honestly, just call him someone Uso. Like, there's nothing wrong calling him the Uso in the end of his name. Like, what the fuck? But whatever. 
That's actually not bad. Oh shit, this happened? Braun Breaker was working out, but then he noticed Char Chucky is watching him. Braun approaches Chucky and says he knows him. That's actually pretty cool. Holy fuck, I didn't see this? That's pretty cool. If y'all remember WCW, they had that thing with Chucky, with his father, Rick Steiner. That's actually pretty cool. So maybe it kind of could go. Hey, you remember this? Is gonna. It, it's actually not bad. So that's actually not bad. Cool. I came home during the fucking Manny Rose match. So, anyways, I, I lost count what match this is. Basically, Manny Rose defeats Raquel Gonzalez in a trick or street fight, which was chosen by Chucky. To become the new women's champion after she got help by some bitch that was like disguised. She was saying she was her debut or come at uh, come Howling Havoc, blah, blah, blah. It was revealed to be Dakota Kai, even though it was like obvious because of her accent. And it's like, why would, who really cares that if this was supposed to be some surprise shit, whatever. Overall, I will say this, the match wasn't too bad. For a women's hardcore match or something. It wasn't too bad. Why? Because it was hot chicks wrestling. Well, Mandy Rose. Um, it's just the problem is fucking throughout the match, it looked like Mandy Rose, like fucking she kept beating up the entire match and she didn't, she barely had offense, I, I would say, from what I saw in the match. And then also like, there's some, again, false finishes, like really a spear through the table and a kick at it too, like it ruins moves from wrestlers, better wrestlers and shit. But yeah, fucking Dakota Kai, she was dressed up as like whatever, she was like covered. She hit Raquel Gonzalez with the fucking shovel and then fucking big knee by Mandy Rose and she's a new women's champion. I like it. A hot a woman is actually women's champion. Isn't that hard to fucking say? Because nowadays we get disgusting She-Hulks being champions and they might as well call it a training championship. Or non-gender specific word of fuck. So I'm happy Manny Rose won. The entire Tasu Traction are champions. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Then, I don't know. They did some shit about fucking... I don't know. Something about Carmelo Hay. The Basically, the wannabe crime time. One of the other tag teams that try to be like crime time. They're basically just street profits. They're like fucking in... Uh, Dexter Loomis' home or something. They go to try to get some... I think it was like the North American Championship. I'm not sure. It's basically some fucking final deletion shit. Or it's just basically some House of Horrors crap. I really don't care. It's basically some... Like the shit they did with Bray Wyatt. You know, I remember the fucking... They try to rip off the final deletion. But they're trying to be scary. It's like, who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? It's not funny. Imperium defeats uh, MSK in a Lumberjack match. Lumberjack O'Lantern match. The fuck? They become a two-time NXT Tag Team Champions. Who the fuck cares? Why is the UK faggots winning a non-UK championship if they're from the... U uh, again, this whole NXT UK shit is retarded. Why even have NXT UK? You know what I mean? And in the main event... Um... Tommaso Ciampa defeated freaking Braun Breaker to retain the ta NXT title. So, people thought fucking Braun Breaker was going to win. I, I kind of thought, like, so too, that because that's what they were headed. But they actually kept the title on Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, and he won. The match was actually too, wasn't too bad, too. The match was actually not bad. The match was a good... From what I've seen, I didn't watch all of it, I think. Because I was like, I didn't know when the match was on. Because I really, I was doing other things. But then, like, from what I've seen, because, again, also, because I don't want to see that stupid fucking scary match and also the stupid tag title match. But, like, the match, what I've seen was not bad. And, honestly, I don't mind that Braun Breaker losing, even though maybe he ruined him a little bit, like, the potential. But unless that means, like, in the future he'll get his chance to become champion, then that's good. Honestly, it kind of would be too early to give him the title. I would rather him maybe like I don't know something. Some in the future though, I do hope that before he heads to the main roster, he becomes the, North, uh, the fucking NXT champion. Or who knows? Maybe they'll have a rematch and and Braun Breaker will win, which I would be all in all fair of. So I think this guy again. I like Braun Breaker. The guy has so much potential. He is then definitely a Steiner, but honestly, it would probably be too quick. And also like 
maybe they'll develop something like a story with this. So who knows? Or something to help Braun Breaker make him more intriguing. Maybe. I just hope, but just again, yeah, what, really, a 50-year-old guy is still the champion, you know, this is a little bit developmental, blah, 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 you might kind of have ruined his, um, Braun Breaker's momentum a little bit, but it's whatever, I don't mind it. Uh, I just hope that Braun Breaker keeps doing cool, good things, and he'll be hopefully still badass, and hopefully he'll still be, I don't think, he should just be on main roster automatically. I think he should be the fucking champion at least for a little bit, like kind of like how Karen Cross was. Even though, look what they did to Karen Cross. But overall, Howling Havoc was not too bad of a show. I'm actually surprised. It wasn't too bad. You know? It wasn't too bad, in my opinion. Even though there's some stupid shit, I don't. I didn't mind it. I just would rather, of course, all the matches would have been spin the wheel. It just makes it like, what's the point of the spin the wheel thing, but whatever. It wasn't too bad. It was better than that usual. I, I, it was something to, like, not, not mind. It was a better show than usual. It was, be, it was, not, it, I would say it's okay. Not great. Not legit good. It's okay. Because normally it would just be boring. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm being generous to saying it's not bad, or or as if it's okay. Cause if anything, again, to be fair, I didn't only I didn't watch most of the show, so oh, and only judge it by like two matches that I gave a fuck about. Um, overall, the show, in my opinion, wasn't too bad. At least you know they did something. It's Halloween Havoc, but watch next week's gonna probably be the same boring shit. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Um. At least they're trying to do some character shit. All I have to ask is, where the fuck is Tony D'Angelo? You know what I mean? Where the fuck was he? Was he just eating some gabagool or something? I don't know. Anyways, um, that was NXT. That's my review. And, uh, yeah. I'm just keeping it real. Get your games. Treat your clothes up and easily. Cheers. And inspire to make some bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. Alright, people? Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.